Hi, I'm Jennifer and this is Emily and we are the owners of Porcelain. Um, so um, I had planned to do a nice big kind of, hey, we did some really exciting stuff. Um, but unfortunately about two or three days ago, um, somebody managed to hack into my Facebook and Instagram accounts. Even though I have two factor authentication, um, they managed to get in and they got my accounts deleted. So right now I'm actually working on trying to get everything reset up. Um, the new Instagram page is live. For some reason, I cannot figure out why my new business page is not live, um, but I am over dealing with that today. So I've set that to the side and I will deal with that tomorrow. Um, I did create a new Facebook group um, for my business. So that's another way to kind of keep in touch with me. I lost access to all of the groups that were owned by my business. Um, it looks like now that um, the way you set up groups is they're no longer affiliated with a business, which I guess is a good thing. So they're now, the new ones I'm setting up are all, I'm the admin. I've actually set somebody else as an admin as well. So um, there's no chance of me losing those again. Um, so if you have followed me in the past, um, please, if you can follow me again, it's kind of a devastating blow to have to kind of start over from scratch, but I'm trying to stay positive. Um, those last couple days have been kind of rough for me, um, but I'm moving on. This little one has been sending me emails saying, I love you, mommy. I'm sorry that Instagram was terrible to you. Um, so yeah, as soon as we figure out exactly what happened and how they got through, I'm pretty sure they got through with my phone and I'm almost positive they got in through Instagram. So if we can figure this out, we will of course share this. Um, in the meantime, we are buying, I'm getting myself a brand new phone today to get everything off my phone and put on the new phone. So hopefully we won't have those type of issues again in the future. So, but moving on, um, and I'm trying to move on. Uh, we actually did a whole bunch of things over the summer that I really <laughs> was wanting to share. And I was actually starting to share them on my Facebook and Instagram last week. And of course now I don't really have anyone to share it to because I'm starting from scratch. Um, luckily our community has been absolutely amazing. The different sewist and businesses have all been sharing and you guys have been helping to get my, um, my likes back up, my followers back up. So I still have a long way to go to up to like the 2,500 that I had, but um, you know, so far in, in just the last 24 hours, I think we've got about 300 on Instagram. So um, thank you guys so much for your support. Um, but what we've been working on, and Emily can tell you that she, we don't need to switch yet, um, that she's tired of me working on the weekends because we have been working tirelessly on a new website. Um, we launched it about, three weeks ago. And of course, the first week was a little bit bumpy, but October was like our slowest month in the last three years. So it was kind of a blessing in disguise that we weren't super busy. So we didn't lose a whole lot of business during that time. Um, it has been really slow for us, um, but uh, I guess after the election, things picked up a little bit because I guess everyone had a little bit of election fatigue. And I totally get it because so did I. I didn't want to spend any money, do anything. Um, but now that's over with and we can move on. So I encourage you to go check out my new website. Um, it's still at the same web address, but it looks a whole lot different. Um, and we've actually created a bunch of perks, but I'll get into that in a little bit. In the meantime, let's kind of take a look at my table. Let me switch them and take a look at what we've got. Now you may also notice that the quality of the video is also a lot better. Um, during the summer, we actually invested in all new cameras, a switching board, um, and it seems like we've had to do this about every two years. Hopefully these will last us forever and we won't have to do this again. We have three cameras now. We have one on me, one on the table, and one over one of my sewing machines. We may end up getting a second one for the second sewing machine I have. Um, but I want to kind of give you kind of a quick overview of what I've got here. So um, I got these new band elastics and they're, I think about, I think they're 18 millimeter, um, 18 to 20 millimeter, um, which is really good for the wide bands. Um, these are really nice. They're plush on the back. They're soft. They're a little bit softer than the other one I have, which is right here. So you can see they're pretty much the same size. One just has like the little scalloped edge and one has more of the Pico edge. Um, 
but both are still available. This one's still available, but these ones are the new ones that are on our site and I really love them. Um, they are both nylon based, so these also can take dye, so the white should actually take it really nicely, but it is extremely soft. Um, we went to LA. We actually drove out to California. And actually, is this upside down? No. We drove out to California at the beginning of October or the end of September um, to go see some family and also to go to the LA Textile Show. Um, and the LA Textile Show was great. I actually caught up with some good friends. I got to meet Lily over at Lilypad Designs. Um, and I also got to meet Jeannie over at Gigi, um, which was nice. I hadn't expected to meet her. Um, and then I caught up with some other friends, um, one of my dearest friends from, from San Francisco, Misty, and um, also uh, Deanna Bratt, which they're both amazing designers. Um, oh, and my absolutely amazing friend, Irene. Um, so it was a really, really good trip for me uh, mentally, especially after COVID for the last couple years. But these three pretty stretch laces are brand new, and I brought these all the way back from L.A., I actually got a bunch of fabrics in LA as well, um, but those ones I'm not showing you quite yet because I'm kind of saving those for Valentine's Day. So you'll be seeing some new stuff for me over the next couple months. I'll probably release them probably towards the end of December. That way people have enough time to get things made for Valentine's Day. But these are really, really nice um, stretch laces and great on panties or gowns or whatever. Um, I would say this is like almost like a, a a mauve color but to me in certain lights it looks more brown um, but either way it just it's a really nice looking lace it's like a gold color and this one just kind of a brown and kind of a, a dark kind of pink like and yeah, this like is pretty a, blue kind of like a light pink with a tiny bit of like brown kind yeah of. but either way I thought they were really pretty I didn't buy a whole lot in LA but I got some pretty stuff so that's these ones um, now you see all these pretty laces um, I am actually not selling the laces individually, but what I have actually done is I put together a whole bunch of kits that are going to be great for the holidays, um, at least to make yourself some things. Um, we actually, I made for this one, this one, this one, and this one, I actually made a matching panty kit, but these are all in bra making kits. And I have a few other ones as well. Um, I just didn't have another scrap here at home. This one I really loved. It is a yeah. little bit narrower. So you won't be, if you have, you'll have to use it strategically if you use this in a bra, because um, it may not be large enough for all pattern pieces. And also it's kind of like a Christmas one because it kind of has, I yep. think, has green and red in it. Yeah, um, no, so it makes it really, kind of like pinkish red. Well, yeah, they're roses. They are whatever color you want to call them, Emily. I'm tired of arguing with you about color. So we also have, you know, a couple other ones. I did a nude bra, which is really nice because um, I actually did get some nude power net. Yay! But I don't have any nude height um, findings. So the sets I put together have the white findings on it. You can always remove those or just get the fabric kit and then pair it with your own um, nude color findings. Um, but because I didn't have that and I've not been successful with dyeing the nude color, um, I just decided to pair it with the white. So those are kind of that. I also have some new tool bra kits. So I have some of this black dotted, kind of the Swiss dotted flocked you know, mesh, which I paired with the nude, um, basically kind of the nude lining. Um, and then I think I just used black for the, um, for the power net on the back. It looks like it's almost like part of a witch costume. <laughs> it could be, certainly. And I also have this black and white one. It's the same thing. They have their flocked. So it makes a kind of nice pretty one um, with the nude lining. And I'm pretty sure I did black with that one, but I might have done white. I don't remember for sure. I don't have the actual kits here. Okay, so we have a few more things here. This is an amazing microfiber spandex. I got this over the summer. And if you followed my other fiasco that happened over the summer, actually it happened probably early summer, is that um, someone, at, so basically someone got into my factory's emails and kind of hacked our correspondence. And I ended up losing about $7,000 to some scammer who changed the payment information for the purchase of these fabrics. So I'm over that, that is in the past. I am much more careful. So if you ever get emails from me, 
You'll probably see a little notice at the bottom saying that I will never send you a request for a payment information through, except through PayPal. And actually we will be incorporating it onto our website. So we actually will probably be eliminating that PayPal notice. Um, but I had to get the fabric again after I thought I bought it. Um, and this is, it's like I said, this is just an amazing microfiber. Um, I haven't quite played around with using this without elastics, but because it has such great recovery, I think that this could work really well to use for lingerie with possibly out elastics at all. Um, and I actually, I only have one of these out here, but I have five more standing behind me because I didn't want to take up my whole table. Um, and I'll show those in a second. This is another fabric that I recently got. Now I have, I already had this in black and white, and this is a double brushed nylon spandex. So this stuff is super soft. It's great for bottom weight or sports bras. This is really kind of what I'm switching my sports bra fabric to. So if you'll notice that a lot of my other sports bra fabrics are on super clearance um, because this is really what I'm switching to. It's really, really luscious. And if you're ever, if you're familiar with the brand Lululemon, um, this stuff is just like their fabric. So it is really nice. And I got a bunch of colors. So sorry, my phone's going off in the background. That's because um, I'm getting new notifications for Instagram that I haven't quite figured out how to turn them off yet because I've just been so overwhelmed. So the other colors of this one, so let's scoot this out of the way. Can you grab those for me, Annie? Those are me the silky ones on the right. So this is the teal color, the teal color. And then we also have this lovely pink, purple, like a light purple. We got a white and a black. So the white is completely dyeable and you'll actually see on some posts I'm going to be sharing um, that I believe it was Nicole who did, um, she actually dyed hers a really fabulous green color um, and it came out really well. She dyed this and she dyed the lace for the, the kits that I have. Um, but as you can see all the colors are complementary and they actually work really nice together. So you know you can mix and match them, you can do a solid on them. Um, yes, of course, white goes with almost everything, right? And this, uh, oh, all yeah. three, all four of those look good. Yes, together. they do. You can pair them all together. Um, I did a whole bunch of kits on my website for panties and tank tops. And the tank tops, it's because we re-released a pattern. I will get into that in another video when I kind of share kind of the sewing of it. It's actually, it's just a re-release of one we already had. It was the, um, the Rachel, the Rachel um, tank and brief. I've redone it. I've um, kind of fixed up the sizing a little bit or the fit a little bit. I've increased, I actually added the kids, extended the size range for the kids, but I did a lot of work on it. And that's really what I was planning to be sharing last, starting last week, which I started to. Um, so you'll see that these actually are all in kits and the panty kits are really nice. Has some really beautiful laces with those, I think. I did another pink, I think I did this, the panty kit was with the white on here, um, but you could easily um, buy a yard of the other stuff and pair it with other fabrics. So that's with the micro spandex. Okay, grab the other fabrics. Okay, so I also have black and white. I don't have them sitting out because I don't think I brought them home. So we have the purple, we have the pink, we have the blue, and then we have kind of this darker teal. That's like now, a kind of like a, it's blue with tiny hint of green or something. Yep. It's and one of the things I did when I was actually looking for these is I was trying to find colors that were complementary. This is probably the biggest difference, but these greens can go together. So you could actually do a tank in one or a sports bra in one and panties in the other. Um, the pinks are almost the same color. They're very close. And then the purple. So all very complementary. And I did that on purpose. So you can really mix and match any of these fabrics. Um, and the last fabric we have over here is, this is actually just kind of some spandex, some swim spandex. It's actually really firm. It can be used for, um, for a sports bra. It actually has really good recovery. Um, so I haven't tested it myself for making my own to see exactly how firm it is, but I feel a little bit more confident to making something like this than some of my lighter weight spandexes. But I only have about 20 yards of this, so I thought it was really pretty and it can make for a really fun um, pride piece or, you know, just a really colorful piece to your wardrobe. Okay, I'm gonna switch back up. Okay, so, um, <laughs> 
We had lots of things. So um, things you're gonna see different on the website, um, we've actually grouped products. So it's no longer I have a giant category of rings and slides. I have a category that may have about 10 listings in it because I combined all of the same size into one listing. So I've got the rings, slides, and hooks of let's say the three quarters of an inch inside one listing. And in that listing, you also have all the options of the different finishes. That way it makes it a little bit easier to find exactly what it is you're looking for, right? Yeah. And I did that on the elastics and there's still some laces that I'm gonna do that to, but I had to take a break from it. So, um, other things we did on the website. Mm. We made the checkout easier to do. It's you know, prettier. It is much prettier. Mm. There's a lot of other things that we've added that um, you'll see as you start poking around. Um, we made store credits a lot easier to do. Um, it's easy to become an affiliate, so you can actually share links and earn money. You can actually earn it towards um, stuff in the shop, um, or you can just earn it as just little spending cash. Um, you can easily join, um, actually create a wholesale account on there now. Um, I've made it a little bit easier and I've actually, we have merged both sites together. So it's no longer two different sites and you can do a half an order in wholesale and half an order of retail. And so you can kind of mix and match it. So if you are buying wholesale and you know you just want to sample a bunch of little things, but you want to get bulk of something else, you can totally do that. Um, and we'll um, accept educators for the wholesale, um, small businesses. Um, so we've got a, we've we got, got a little flexibility. So if you're not sure if you can apply, you can just hit the apply button and then I believe there's a field where you can put in information and just tell us a little bit about you if you would like to become a wholesale person. We do have some new things that we will be working on, including creating an educator kind of a group on our website, which will be nice because there will be certain products that everyone won't have access to, but they're gonna be designed for people who are teaching classes. Um, with our bras and our patterns um, and using our fabrics and kits. So that's coming. It's not there yet, but it will be there soon. And I guess the last thing is, and I will be doing a separate video for Patreon, um, is we actually kind of changed up the perks a little bit to make it a lot easier for you to kind of make it worth it. Um, so right now I've got a $3 level, which is just kind of like for extra, just for supporting us and what we do, um, and then I have an $8 level. It's still actually very reasonable. You get a copy of every digital pattern that we release when we release it. So you have access to it for about 30 days to download it, and once you've downloaded it, it's yours. Um, we also have some discounts, and I can't remember off the top of my head what those are right now, but I will double check before I do that video. Um, but on most low level items, which I mean kind of like a single yard, a pair, maybe a 10 pack or a five pack, most of those items are gonna have a discount on them. Um, that excludes the 10 packs of the underwear wires, um, but you will have a discount on the singles. So it's really easy to kind of make that $8 back um, pretty easily. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there is a lot more I'd like to share right now. But right now I am a little overwhelmed by the whole Instagram and Facebook fiasco and I need to keep double checking my security settings to make sure that nobody has gotten unauthorized access because that is something I've been having to check because I found someone yesterday with unauthorized access. So um, we are getting to the bottom of it, um, but thank you all for your support and I really appreciate it. And um, I hope you guys have a happy holiday and um, expect to see another video from me soon on about the Rachel re-release. So, bye. You gonna say bye? Bye. <laughs> bye.